My name is Thomas Church. I'm 23 years old. Uh, I lost my sight about three or four years ago now. It was kind of as I was applying for university and as I was getting accepted, so actually sort of it was a bit of a big change going into uni. I was actually applying to do a motorsport engineering course and then obviously realised that I wanted to move away from a physical job because I wouldn't be able to do that. So I then moved on to a course that we shared some lectures with, which was logistics and supply chain management. So it was kind of a big learning curve. So I was learning JAWS and having training sessions on that alongside my degree. My job now, my position is inbound logistics operations executive. Um, I'm on the graduate scheme at Tesco. When I was applying for Tesco, the assessment process was quite intense. They was very supportive there, to be fair. Like, I, took my laptop because obviously they give out pens and, and notepads which isn't very useful for me because I only use JAWS with my laptop. So I took my own laptop and just kind of throughout the day tried to show how I would cope with a situation. They were really helpful and and like because um, the paper was actually, it wasn't electronically based so they read that out to me and then I will type the answer or we had to do like a presentation. So the presentation I kind of just tried to memorise like three main points and then elaborate around them and try and like sell that point. Once I found out that I got the job, I organised with my director to come, come in a few weeks before to meet him and sit down with him and I sort of showed him my iPhone and how we use that and I told him that the one thing with my sight loss is it takes me a while to get used to something Then once I understand it fully then I can do it. So the main thing that I tried to push to my employer was that it was be patient with me. It's been quite successful so far. I think everyone knows where I stand and just made my situation quite clear to them. I didn't use access to work to get this job because I've heard in the past that it was quite a lengthy process and it can be quite complicated. And also because I only use JAWS and ZoomText, I managed to get my company to support me with that and some extra training on that. So I haven't had to go down the route of access to work yet. I think there is a big difference between being in education with sight loss and being in the workplace with sight loss. Um, I think in education you're kind of, you're supported in a big way and, and essentially you're paying them to teach you and to provide you with a service. Whereas in the workplace you want to just be able to do everything and be able to impress everyone. I think if you're honest and let everyone know where you stand and still have your demands of what you need to be able to do this and that, you'll add a lot more value to the business as well as be good at your job and comfortable. For more information on transitions, visit rnib.org.uk forward slash young hyphen people. RNIB, supporting people with sight loss.